it's Louise here again. Hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, today I want to do a bit of a battle of the subscription boxes and I am going to talk about my Birch box subscription for the month of April and my Glossy box subscription for the month of April. Have a look, see what I got and then what I do is when I'm edited in the video I will put the full price of the product list on the screen along with the equivalent to what your sample is actually worth so then you can make up your own mind if you think a subscription box is worth the money. Before we start, I just want to address this mountain on my forehead. Please forgive me, it's one of those days. I am really, really suffering with my skin. Um, I have been using the Mario Badesco, like the two-in-one thing, and that seems to be working out pretty well for me, but if anybody has any other, like, skin busting saviors, please leave them in the comments box below. I would love to discover something new for my skin. It's going through a really, really weird phase at the moment. The other thing I want to say before we get started is please like this video and give it a thumbs up if you haven't um, already done that. And if you're not a subscriber and you're new here, hi, how are you? I'm Louise. Don't forget to hit the subscription box whenever you leave and the bell beside it so you get notified anytime I upload. I upload at least two videos a week. So let's get started. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Glossy Box. It's my, um, these subscription boxes are the same price. So it's my favourite box to open mainly for the packaging. Like I am a complete sucker for packaging. So Glossy Box is, if you haven't seen it before, it's this gorgeous pink box and it comes um, really beautifully wrapped up. You get um, a little ribbon in here which you can open ahead, some lovely tissue paper and then you get five samples each month. And this is sort of what my box looks like. It's full of goodies. They also include a little card every month so that you can um, have a read through the products and also gives you a little bit more information about how to use them. So the first thing, and it's on the first page of this card that I'm going to talk about, it's called the Deli Wash Cleansing Conditioner. Now, this reminds me a little bit of years ago if you used to watch the infomercials and the Wayne shampoo come out and it wasn't really a shampoo, it was a cleansing conditioner that was supposed to also clean your hair of any excess oils, dirt, grime, but leave your hair really soft. Now, the bottle that they have given us, it is a 100ml bottle. It says the recommended retail price of this is $14.50, but it hasn't indicated here that it is a full-size product. So as I say, I'll pop the details on screen for you. So this is what the um, bottle looks like. Very nice indeed. I did try this night. My hair has um, due to a lot of medication. My close friends will know that I've been on a lot of medication since an accident I had three years ago. My hair has really suffered and it has been falling out quite a bit. It's gone from kind of being oily to being quite dry and coarse and not thick, but just dry and coarse and, and still very fine. Um, so I was excited to try this. I used it once and my hair looked gorgeous afterwards, but it didn't have that squeaky clean feeling that I love after I shampoo my hair. And I don't wash my hair every day um, due to the nerve damage that I have from my accident. It causes me an awful lot of pain to wash my hair. So I try and stick to like maybe every four days or once a week if I can get away with it using dry shampoo. This I washed my hair, it looked amazing the day that I washed my hair. The next day, however, it felt quite greasy, which was really unusual for me, especially at this time of my life. And I ended up, folks, having to go back in and wash my hair like a day or two days later after using this. I mean, it did make my hair easier to style. It did look great and it might be a product that I will use for nights out. I imagine if you're blonde and your hair is maybe really suffering, this might be an idea to try. I know that L'Oreal have launched new products um, where it's called like a low shampoo and you do it once a week. This is obviously more expensive than that and for me it's, uh, you know, I'll use it I think until the product's empty and then I can't see me repurchasing this one at all. So a little bit of a, mm, not a complete dud but nearly there. 
The next product that we have in this box, I'm laughing at the colour of this, this is um, a product by the Model Company and it's called their Contour Stick. Now, look how orange that is. Let me get my Smashbox contour stick just to compare the difference. Maybe I'm just being a wee fussy so and so. No, I wasn't. Okay, so you know, this color here is the model company one and the one below it is the Smashbox one and you can see there's very different tones in this. The Smashbox product I find works on every skin to tone, maybe not the really dark girls but it definitely works on every skin tone and because I'm so fair I just use a little bit less of it and it blends in really easily. This feels really smooth but quite waxy on the skin and I would imagine there's a bit of a sheen off it. I would imagine that this is more of a bronzing product than it is a contour product. They said you can put this in your lips, I'm sorry but there's no way I'm putting that colour on my lips. Um, it's a complete pass for me due to the tone of it and the waxy feel. So if Megan, if you're watching this, is another one that's going to go to you love because it's just, I'm passing this on. It's a complete dud for me, to be fair. Um, okay, the next product that we have. Sorry, I didn't mention how much that was. That was a, um, a full price product and it retails for £17. No, the Smashbox ones you get three pencils, you get um, a bronzer, a contour one and a highlighting stick and a sharpener for, I can't be 100% sure but I will put the price on the screen but it's not a whole pile more than this one stick and you do get a lot more product in the Smashbox ones so no, I'm sorry, it's a dud. Okay, so the next product that we have from Glossy Box is a product called Sport FX and I have never used anything from this brand before. And this is a brow product which I'm always excited to try. I've been going through phases with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, now, my problem with this is it's black. I have dark hair but I don't use black. You know, is this a twisty up thing? Oh my, it is. It's twisting the wrong bit. Great. So this product here has an angled nib which is great for getting in there and defining your brows. However, I'm sorry, but look at the colour of that. There's no way I'm putting this on my brows. I may keep this in my collection for somebody who does have really dark hair. It does have a spoolie on the other end, so it is very like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. But again, the wrong colour, the wrong tone for my skin. I can't see many people using a black eye product and because it's so waxy it's not something that you can really use elsewhere on the face. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this on your eyes at all. The waxy thing it's just going to streak everywhere and cause a complete mess of your makeup. So um, that was a full size product and it retails for $7.99. Not a bad product for the price. Um, maybe would be interested to pick one of these up in a colour that suited me personally. Now it does say that Sport FX has been specially created to offer multi-use products that make quick turnarounds at the gym a reality. Um, it says that it's water resistant and it'll keep your brows look to find all day. Might be worth trying out but totally wrong shade for me so again it's another dud. Sorry. Okay, so one that I am excited about, and this is not a full size product, and I actually haven't tried anything from this brand, although I've had my eye on a lot of their heavy duty um, makeup that is made especially for the film industry. And this is the Rodal Glamo Lash Mascara XXL. So it's um, a deluxe sample size. It has got a really nice brush to it. It's a natural fiber brush, which is personally what I prefer. Now, the full size price of this is 24 pounds. It says on the card here, when it comes to our lashes, we don't want to hold back, which is why we love this mascara. If you want extreme everything, and who doesn't, then this mascara is for you. The long wear formula is jet black and leaves lashes 
super sized but soft, hmm, we shall see, brush directly through top and bottom, lashes, blah blah blah, repeat for even more volume. Okay, I'm excited to give this one a go. I'm always in the hunt for a really good mascara. I've had some disappointments recently, I'll link to that video in the cards above, where I've had an awful lot of problems with transfer and the one that really holds up for me at the moment is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, although it's a flipping nightmare to remove. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to try this. Um, definitely looking forward to that. And Rodal is a very premium and expensive product and they make awesome skincare. I just haven't invested anything in it myself yet. So if I like this, this could be a um, purchase. So I keep, um, whenever I do my favorites video, I'll keep you updated if this is a hit or a miss for me. And then finally, bit of a cop out here, birch box like it. Wise up, do you know what I mean? I've had this before, or not birch box, glossy box. <gasps> I've had this before in a birch box. And this is a full size, it's called the Mercy Handy. Um, it's just one of those sanitizer gels. It smells nice, but the full size product of this retails for 2 90 I'm sorry, I would never spend 2 90 on hand sanitizer. A hand sanitizer is a key element of any makeup artist kit. In fact, it should be a key element in anybody who touches their face and you should use it before you go in with your moisturizers, cleansers, etc. Just to make sure you get any grubbiness off your hands or any bacteria. Personally, I'm at the moment using the Carex one. I think I picked this up in Tesco's for less than a pound, probably even less than that. And it smells like strawberry laces, which is gorgeous. So whilst I will put this product to good use, I think throwing in a hand sanitizer in a five item subscription box is a bit of a cheat. So wasn't overly impressed with the quality of the products that I got in my glossy box this month. Okay, let's move on to maybe more of one of the well-known subscription boxes and this is Birchbox. Look how adorable this is. This is absolutely beautiful, the box this month and every month they do a different theme and they do the boxes. So unlike the glossy box, it comes with a drawer. Really good for inserts in your Alex drawers for storing makeup. By the way, I use these and actually the glossy box boxes themselves to like pack in and sort out my makeup collection. So. Bowden is a British fashion company. They do a lot of blogging on fashion. They do some very unique pieces. Probably not my taste to be fair. Although um, in this month, which was quite exciting, they have given you a 10 pound gift card to go ahead and spend on Bowden. And what I did the day that I used my gift card, and sometimes I don't use them in these boxes. I'm gonna be totally honest. The day that I did use them in this box, um, I was looking for kind of a leather card holder type thing um, for when I go on holidays later this year and also I'm into the kind of small bags that go over the shoulder which seems to be the whole trend at the moment so I'm really into that um, and they were doing 10 or 20 percent off and free delivery so I ended up getting a leather card holder for £8 with my gift card and um, it was I think it came to like 18 by the time the discount was coming off and free delivery so Eight pound for me for something that is leather and is gonna last, you know, me through the summer and hopefully more was great. So, um, so that's it. So, if you are having your eye on Bowden this month and you're looking to order something, hopefully this video will not go up so late and you can get your chance to get your ten pounds off with your gift voucher. Now, I would leave the code for use below, but they've been quite sneaky in the way that they've done this and it's kind of a one-time use code, so you do have to purchase the box. The box is a tenner plus postage and package, and so already you're getting 10 pounds worth of something if you use it. Now, if you don't use it, that's not gonna be any good to you. Okay, so, apologies. So um, in the April Birch box, again, similar to the glossy box, it comes with a card that tells you a little bit more about the samples that you have got. And I'm laughing at this first one, you guys, like, this is a joke. Um, let me get into the first one and we can all have a bit of a giggle together because this is flipping ridiculous. Okay, so the first product is called, it's from Mana Kadar Cosmetics. A brand, again, I've never heard of, and sometimes these subscription boxes are good to find brands that you normally wouldn't use. 
This is a full size high definition powder that retails for £27. I have tiny hands and look at the size of this. I'm sorry, I have eyeshadows that are bigger than this, blushes that are bigger than this. I don't care who you are. The powder, in fairness, feels really nice. I haven't tried it yet. But who in their right mind spends £27 on a satin powder? And it doesn't even say how many grams are in this. Like, no way. I'd probably keep this for the makeup kit for whenever I'm travelling as it's really handy. I do prefer loose satin powders. But like my Laura Mercier, I don't think is as expensive as that. And you get a lot of product. And you know, I've been using it for six months and I'm nowhere near finished it. Wise up Birchbox, come on. Like, it has been made exclusively for Birchbox. Like, there is no way this retails for £27. These subscription boxes need to get a grip. We're all not thick, do you know what I mean? Rant over. Promise. <laughs> okay, the next item that we have in our Birch box this month is this colour corrector from Nip and Fab. A product, um, a company that I like and have used some of their moisturisers. These are actually a sister company um, of Rodal, which is the mascara that we got in the glossy box. So Rodal are totally hitting it up this month. Um, now I've got the yellow colour, so they come in purple, like an orangey colour for under the eyes, green for redness, and then yellow is a highlighter. I sometimes use highlighter around my smile lines and um, whenever I'm colour correcting. This is, um, it's got a brush tip applicator. Whoa. And the colour payoff in that is fabulous actually. Really, really good. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Now this again is a full size product that retails for £8.95. Not, like a colour corrector like this, I mean you're going to be using it sparingly, is going to last you a really, really long time. I'm just going to wipe that off. It's going to last you a really long time. So, I, you know, thumbs up to Birchbox for that one. That one was pretty good. Um, the next product that we have, and God, I am fed up getting these in my subscription boxes. Um, it's from a company called Polar, which is P-O-L-A-A-R. Polar, Polar. And it's an ice pure gentle scrub with arctic cotton and the full size retails for twenty three fifty. Now, how many mils are we getting in this? Again, it doesn't say this is I'm gonna have to weigh these and then try and work out the price for you. Um so this is what the packaging looks like. It's pretty, it's alright. It's got um Arctic cotton, which is a powerhouse ingredient known for its moisturizing properties. Meaning that this double action exfoliator both smooths and softens the skin. I'm not one for, it's got to be seal on it. I'm not one for using harsh scrubs on my skin. I'd much prefer to go in with a chemical exfoliant. Well, that feels really scrubby. It smells like cotton, like, it does smell like cotton, like, or you know those fragrance candles that you get that smell like fresh laundry. Yeah, no, not for me. Um, again, I have so many facial scrubs. I get them every month in Birchbox. I'm bloody fed up getting them. And Megan, this will go to you as well, love. Poor Megan gets all my cast-offs. But sure, whatever. Okay, so the next product we have is by a hair company called Amika. And I've had quite a few items of Amika in... Birch box before, which is why I never buy them because they come through and I sometimes think companies you shoot yourselves in the fuck whenever you do this. Now this is called the Shield Style Ex Extending Spray. It retails full size for 20, 20 pounds and you're getting 21.3 grams in this sample size or 0.75 ounces. So this is what the product looks like. Um, their packaging is lovely. I was a bit like, what is a Shield styled extending spray? I couldn't figure this one out. So whenever I read it in, it's like, ah, right, okay. It's powered by advanced technology. This heat activated formula protects hair from UV rays, heat pollution and frizz to keep it looking fresh for 24 hours. 24 hours, sorry, Northern Ireland action. Northern Ireland accent. Can't speak today, Louise. So you shake a can and then spray onto damp or dry hair before heat styling. I actually just 
dyed my hair, but let's give it a bit of a I can't smell anything. I can smell it now. Nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will. I'll use this. I really like all the Amica products. But as I say, I never purchase them because they're always in flipping subscription boxes. Companies, you shoot yourselves in the foot. I'm sorry. The next and the very last product, I'm sorry, this video is turning into a very long one, um, is by Baja Baja Paris. I think I'm saying that right. And it's called the Creme Mona in Flair de Tare, Tare. Yeah, I did do French GCSE. I'm a French teacher. I hope you're not watching. So it says, when your skin needs a little TLC, this super nourishing lotion will save the day. Will it though? A blend of shea and something butters, which you can't pronounce. Coconut oil, jojoba wax offers immediate relief to dry patches for baby soft skin. Massage into clean, dry skin, a little goes a long way. I think I have smelt this. No, I haven't. The seal's still on it. Oh my God. Um, oh, oh, sweet book. Not for me, very floral slash baby powder. Johnson's baby lotion maybe, it smells like. So there you go, so it's just a body cream. Um, the full size it says retails for 15 90 It doesn't give an indication of what the full size is, so I'll pop it on the screen for you when I'm editing it. Um, okay, if you like a lot of body creams and things like that, these are great for travel because you can pop these through on your bag, it's 30 mil, so you're gonna pop it through, you know, whenever you're going um, through security. I couldn't remember the word for that there. So I'll probably pass this one on as well to you, Megs. So overall, just to do a quick round up, I think the two things that I'm really, the two things that I'll probably use the most, I was gonna say the two things I'm really excited about, but I am excited about the mascara from Rodial. I will use up the cleansing conditioner co-wash, um, which is like cleansing conditioner in one. Oh, I'll keep this for nights out and special occasions when I know my hair will behave and be less frizzy and I'll not mind washing it the next day anyway. Um, I will use the hand sanitizing gel because every makeup artist needs this in their kit and I have plenty of them floating around the house. From Birchbox, I'll use the Amica product, um, which is the style heat spray thingy, my bobby. I'll use the setting powder. I might pass it on, I don't know yet. I'll see if it's any good. And um, the Nip Fab color corrector thingy, my bobby, even though I have color correctors. Um, final roundup. I can't say that there's a clear winner this month. I think they're both pretty pathetic, to be honest. So Birchbox, Glossybox, if you are watching, you're gonna lose a subscriber here unless you pick up your A game and send me shit that I really want to try. No more body or no more bloody facial scrubs. I've had enough. I, by this stage, if I had to use them every month that I got them, I wouldn't have any skin left on my face. And I maybe wouldn't have this mountain. That's, where is it? There it is over there. So like all in all, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do one um, every month when I get my subscription boxes and what I'm thinking of doing is if one just really isn't living up, what I might do is change and go for the look fantastic box. So I've heard that one's pretty good, although meh, you never know with these things. Um, hope you enjoyed folks. Hit the subscribe button. That'll really help me out and give it, you know, another thumbs up. And that's all from me, folks. I'll see you in the next video. Love you loads. Mwah.